right, so I'm just going to walk you through a little bit on Zephyr or Zephyr, however it's pronounced. Um, so when you launch and run this application, it might be a little bit tricky to record your own events, but luckily um, I've uploaded some and other people have uploaded plenty of codes. There's a lot of codes that are already there. Um, so when you have a component, you, you'll you have different options for it. Here's my JVC VCR. It's got all these buttons that were already programmed by somebody else. They've, all I had to do was download them. And how you do that is you just go here. And they've got an online database. You can go through and find all these different things, select the component that you want, and then double click it, and it automatically downloads it for you. It's really nice. However, let's say you wanted to add your own remote function. So you double click it and you end up with this little window. Now, the only reason I'm adding this in is because it's very touchy, but it works. So let's say you're trying to figure out, and you're gonna have to go to the site to get the step-by-step -step instructions because I'm just gonna I'm just giving you a little helpful hint here. When you go to record your own one, start at seven. And always do this hit this button to check what the frequency is because it doesn't know what the frequency is to start off with so once you get the frequency and you're ready to go then you want to hit the record button when you do follow the instructions and then after you've got your code trim it down using this button but then this slider here it might not work the first time you do it you test the recording but just inch this thing up one little click at a time and then test it one little click test it one little click test it it will work as long as you have a clean recording it will work on one of these steps I guarantee you I had something I had a component and it took me like 20 tries to get it to work but it finally worked but that was just one scenario other ones it worked first first shot I, I didn't have to really mess with this at all so it just depends on the component whether it can read it or not so don't be daunted by it you can do it so let me get rid of that. I want to delete that. So that's it on the Zeph IR. And um, so get all your components together, and I'll see you in the next part.